coming here to witness the burial of our mother. Uh, God richly bless you. Uh, let's take a reading from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 through verse 8. And I read the word of God. It says to everything there is a season. And a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to plant up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to whip and a time to laugh. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rent and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. That is from the word of God. That in life there is time for everything. Today we are gathered here to say goodbye to our mother. And it's not going to be a forever goodbye for those of us who are in Christ. It's a temporary one. Why? Because one day there is going to be a great reunion. Hallelujah. We 
gonna take a song. Great is thy faithfulness. As we read it and as we sing it and as we remind ourselves again, where will I be when my time comes? Hello. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thy changes not, the combustions they fail not. As thou hast been, the forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new by sea I sing. All I have needed, thy hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, and and sisters, we are gathered here to commit to raise the body of our loved one, Joanna Ashe. And I believe that all of us, and especially the family, have memories that you treasure so much about our mother. Some of us have shared through this passing years a wonderful companionship with our mother. And it is very important that we cherish the many memories that come to us at this time. And let each and every one of us purpose in our hearts that we will seek God with all our hearts, with all our soul, and respond to the opportunities of salvation that may come to us through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. In Psalm 27 verse 1, the Bible declares that the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid of? 
to the family, the Lord is the strength of your life. In 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 1 and 2, the Bible says, We then beseech you also that ye receive not the grace of God in vain. For he said, I have heard thee in time accepted in the day of salvation. Have I succored thee? Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Bible says in Isaiah 55 verse 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. A very important scripture that you and I need to make sure we keep in our minds and in our hearts. Call upon him whilst he is near. Call upon him whilst you are still alive. And have your relationship with him. As we were told this morning, our mother had completed her task on earth. And she is with her maker. And it is important for you and I to make sure that when our day comes, we are also with the maker. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Baba declares in Isaiah chapter 18, Genesis chapter 18, verse 25, say F to F. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? Let's pray. Father, we have come here today on this holy ground to say a goodbye to our mother but on a temporary basis because we know from the book of first thessalonians chapter 4 13 to 18 that you will be coming back you will be coming back for your church and bible declares that on that day the dead shall rise afresh and those of us who are alive will all be caught up in heaven with our maker and we'll gather together and we'll have celebration. Father, this is our comfort that yes, we will meet again. We commit the soul of your daughter, Joanna Ashi, into your hands. May she find peace in your presence. We thank you, O oh God, for everything that you've used her to do. The lives that she had imparted. We pray, Lord my God, that wherever she is, may the glorious power of God rest on her. And we are looking forward to that day when we will all be raptured and we will be with you in your glory we bless you and we worship you we pray for the family may you strengthen them may you comfort them may the overwhelming presence of god be their portion and may they know that you love them so much with an everlasting love we bless you and we glorify you. So now we commit the soul, the body, and the spirit of our mother, sister, grandmother, Joanna Ashi, into your hands. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Now, we are at the final end of this important, solemn time. It's time to have the benediction. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. May the Lord shine his face upon you. May the Lord's glorious hand be with you. May your ways be established by him. May every place that you step your feet, may the presence of God upon you take over that place. And may you find peace and joy in him. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, this we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Once again, thank you all very much. Amen. rise and do your tributes. And have you grab sand from your eldest grandchild and place your file into your first case. This way you'll be dry.
Ofreno Yesu Oyasum Ye Nijini Yesu Make it right of Opa Yatu Oh, yeah. 